Today we're working on a 2007 Hyundai Santa Fe. We're going to be changing the rear brakes. The first thing I like to do as a safety precaution, put some wheel chocks in. So before you raise the car, you want to break the lug nuts loose. So now we can raise the car. So again, the tire's stuck. I've uh, sprayed some PB blaster in between the wheel and the hub. And a few ways you can try to do this, you can try to kick the tire up top. And when you do that, you just want to put a loose lug nut so the wheel doesn't come flying off. And the other way you can do that is if you get behind the wheel and hit the bottom of the wheel with a hammer, sometimes that'll be uh, enough to break it loose. If you're like me and you lose parts, put the uh, lug nuts back on. So the next step is to take the caliper off. I'll bring you right in. See that? So we're going to be pulling uh, two bolts off the back. There's one up top and there's one on the bottom here. The only uh, tricky part is it's very tight between the spring and the uh, bolt. So you need a smaller socket. The bottom one was a little stubborn for me and uh, the caliber kept trying to swing out. So I put the top bolt in, kind of hold it in place. So you can see they're not very long. And now you want to be careful when you pull this off or even when you're loosening it that it doesn't just fall off and hang because you can see it'd be hanging on the uh, actual brake line. So you want to put it up somewhere safe. Um, it kind of fits nicely right up here. So now we can actually pull the pads. You can see this one is near the end of its life. I think I know what I'll choose. And yeah, I mean, these probably have another six months on them. I'm here now, I got the pads, I might as well change them. One thing I recommend is getting some uh, brake caliper lube. With the lube, you just, you can be as aggressive as you want. Put it down here, put it up here. On the back of the pad, you can uh, apply the lube as well. Anywhere where metal to metal is going to be touching. So we can go ahead and put this one back in. So obviously this isn't going to fit over this because this piston is all the way out. Um, we need to compress it back into here. You want to make sure to undo the cap on the brake reservoir. When we push that piston in, when we compress it, it's going to be pushing the brake fluid back out somewhere. Okay, so here's under the hood. And you can see there, I pulled the cap off the brake reservoir. Okay, so as I was saying, you need to compress this. If you're very manly, maybe you can do it by hand, but most of us use the uh, old brake pad and a seat clamp. I think you're going to need at least a 4 inch. Uh, this seat clamp is an 8 inch. The thing about this is you're not rushing it. You just want it to be a slow, steady compression. And while you're doing this, you can also inspect the boot. And so it's going to be very smooth until you get to the bottom and you feel it bottom out. Obviously you don't want to go crazy. So right there, I bottomed out. That's all you need to do. Again, try not to let this fall and hang by the brake line. Where you had those 14 millimeter bolts, you just need to compress that before it'll slide into place. So I'm compressing the bottom one right now with my finger. And then you can see it just slides in. Put the uh, 14 millimeter bolts back in. Okay, now we can tighten these back up. And when you're only changing the brake pads, you don't need to bleed the line. So we're all set. Now I can uh, put the wheel back on. And so when you're putting uh, a wheel on from a five lug, you want to work in a star pattern. 
you only be able to tighten them so much without the wheel spinning. So you can hold it with your foot, tighten it a little bit more, and then we'll drop the car down and tighten it all the way. Don't forget to put the cap back on the brake reservoir. And if you're like me, you put wheel chocks in. Don't forget to take those out. All set, brakes work good. One thing I forgot to mention is that when you first get into the car, you're gonna have to press the brake pedal a few times, maybe pump it three or four times to build up the pressure. And after that, it'll be just like it was, uh, hopefully a little bit better. So that's it, thanks for watching and check out my other videos.